Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a huge girly haul. Excuse my voice. I guess I went to bed with the ceiling fan on and the room was way too cold and the next day I woke up with a sore throat. So um, yeah, if my voice sounds a little bit raspy, excuse me girl, but um, I wanted to share with you guys everything that I got when I went on my little Dallas trip. So we have a huge haul here. We have um, what I got from Coach, uh, Victoria's Secret, um, Ulta, also things I got in the mail. Um, I got like three packages in the mail that I want to share with you guys. So this is just going to be a long overdue girly haul. So um, if you are wanting to see what I got, then just keep watching. And if you're new here, hello, I'm Sharla and I love to film all kinds of pink girly videos. So if that's something you're into, make sure you click the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and I promise I won't sound like this in the future. <laughs> um, I just really wanted a film to post for you guys for Sunday. Um, so I just have to deal with my raspy voice in this video. So what package should we start with first? I think I want to start with Ulta. Share with you guys what I got from Ulta first. So I did get a few things, nothing too crazy. So the first thing that I have in here are some lipsticks. So I have been raving about the lipstick that I am wearing right now. I've been wearing it every single day for the past two weeks, I'm thinking. Um, this is a shade Cash Flow from NYX. It is such a beautiful pink color and I've just been addicted to wearing it. So I did go to, um, I did go back to Ulta and buy some more shades. Um, I think I bought like three more shades. There's like one more in here. Um, yeah, there's another one. So I do have like four shades now. I have like pinks and nudes. So this is what they look like. And um, this one is Cash Flow. So this is the lightest color. So I'm going to show you guys a little close up. <sighs> That's how they look. So we have got like um, the one that I'm wearing is called Cash Flow, and then the second one is called Moving Up. This one's more like a flirty pink, like it's kind of perfect for Fourth of July vibes if you don't like to wear red. Um, and then we have another one called Trophy Life. This one is a very mauvey pink, and then we have um, this one's called Born to Hustle. This is like one of the most top selling shades. Um, so I will put a picture here of like what all the color shades look like if you guys want to go to NYX and get your own um, See which color you like best for you So I'll put like a little screenshot here of some swatches that helped me pick out my lipsticks and <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have like not been talking all day because I wanted to save my voice. Oh my god, I feel like Ariel when she got her voice taken away. I'm like, ah, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> so that's literally me right now. Um, I tried not to talk all day so that I could film this video, but my voice still sounds horrible. And let's see, next thing that I got is some Kiss um, eyeliner glue. I do have the one in black for when I wear eyeliner. This stuff is really good if you struggle with putting on lashes. Um, this eyeliner glue from Kiss really does help you to apply lashes, so this, especially for beginners or if you're just in a hurry and you feel like taking lashes takes you forever, this will really save you time. So they just came out with the clear glue. I have the one in black. I'm obsessed with it, but they came out with the clear version in case you don't wear eyeliner and you want to put them on the same way. Um, so I got that and then I got a um, setting mist from Morphe. This is in the Coconut Bliss. This smells so good. It makes me want to go to the beach. So I got that and then I got some lip gloss from Morphe. This one is the Lip Shine. This one is like the most prettiest glow um, lip. Like it's like a, a gold glittery lip gloss and it is also in the coconut scent so this is what it looks like it's called coco calypso so that's how she looks 
So I got that. And also got a another bronzer. I've already hit pan on the first um, powder bronzer. I like to use the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade number two. So this is what it looks like. Um, I already hit pan on my first one and I really like it because it's very buildable. Like you don't have to worry about barely touching it and then it's like all muddy. You can like literally dig in there and put as much as you want and it's like very buildable. So you can build it up as much as you want so it doesn't look muddy. So that is my second pack already. And um, I also went to TJ Maxx. I just put those these items in that bag. Um, I went to TJ Maxx while I was there and I bought this blemish extractor because I'm always popping my pimples. Um, but there's this cute little toolkit and it's pink and it comes with so many tools to help you like to pop your pimples. And this was only $6 and then I got this razor set because I do um, shave my face with uh, these little um, disposable razors. And this was a 12 pack for $6 so I thought that was pretty good and they're all pink. And I also got some blow dry clips because I feel like I'm always losing them and they just disappear. So you can never have enough hair clips. Um, these are from... Uh, Precision Beauty and these were four dollars but I just love it's like a pretty bubblegum pink shade so I thought they were so cute and I also got a hairbrush but I already took it out and used it because I needed a new hairbrush so that was everything from Ulta and TJ Maxx and next we're gonna go into Victoria's Secret so actually let me show you guys some nails I'm gonna show you guys the package that I got in the mail. So I um, like to wear press on nails. If you guys don't know, I had to like, I think it's already been like six over six months that I've stopped going to the nail salon. But now like I've just been giving my nails a break and I've just been wearing press on nails. And I usually get my press on nails from Marshalls because they've started to bring out all the old Kiss ones and they're like super affordable. So usually I go to Marshalls to get my uh, press on nails. But um, lately I haven't seen any cute ones recently so I just went on Amazon and googled some press on nails and they had some really cute ones for the same price like $8. Um, I got these, they're like pink French tipped press on nails. I'll link them down in my Amazon storefront. But these are like beautiful pink French tips. And then I also got these pink and gold marble nails i don't know if you can see because of the glare there it goes but those are super cute as well so um yeah i just went on amazon got some press on nails um i heard shein is a really good place to get press on nails so i'm gonna have to check them out <coughs> i'm sorry because i really don't shop on shein just because it's like a hit or miss for a girl like me um but i've heard i've seen on tiktok that a girl buys a lot of her press ons from shein so I really want to check them out and see if I can find some good ones. I'll show you guys what I got from Victoria's Secret. So I did get some fun things that I'm excited about using. So first thing that's in here is another coconut pineapple body wash. They were two for 15 I believe. So the other one is already in my shower because you guys know I ran out of it already. Um, so I got two of them. One's currently in my shower. So um, this is just one of my favorite body washes from them. It just smells so good. And they're big bottles. So they do last you. They lasted me like maybe a month or two. Um, but yeah, I had to restock on these babies. I could not go without them. Um, next thing I got is some hand cream. I got the pomegranate and lotus hand cream. And I love the... The body wash in this scent I don't think the body washes and lotions were on sale but I do love the body wash in this scent it is probably my second favorite um, and I didn't know that they made these in a hand cream so as soon as I saw it I was like girl I need that because I love that smell so I'm gonna put some on my hands mmm just smells so good I just love like that clean but still sweet pampering smell Oh, I just love that. So I gotta stick that in my purse. Um, next thing that I got, I did get two perfumes. One of them was on sale. The other one was not, but I don't regret it. So 
Um, this perfume was on sale for $30 or $40, I believe. Um, it'll, see, it'll say here on my receipt. It was on sale for $30. And it is in the scent Scandalous. And um, I had gotten an opinion from my best friend and my husband, and they both said, you better get this because it smells very good. I got it in the 1.7 ounce bottle. So this is what it looks like before I open it up. And I am the smelling queen. The smelling queen is here to tell you guys what this perfume smells like. And I think they still have the annual sale going on. So if they do, you guys need to go scoop this up because it smells very, very good. And let's see. Let me take the bottle out. So here's what the bottle looks like. And let's just go ahead and spray this baby. Oh no, did I break the nozzle? Oh no. Mmm. This one's kind of like sweet and seductive at the same time. Mm, I can't explain it. It just smells like <clears throat> sweet and sexy. It kind of reminds me. It kind of reminds me of Ari perfume, but I'm trying to make up the notes. I, I think the notes are on here. So there's raspberry. It does smell like there's raspberries in there. Black peony and praline. So it's very florally which is what I like. You guys know I love floral scents, but it's still sweet and seductive at the same time. So this could definitely be like a day or a night type of scent. It just smells so good. Like I just, I live for fresh, I guess, florally scents, but not too florally, like to where it smells like an old lady type florally, florally. No, like florally to where it's just like, oh, I just got out of the shower, a sexy girl just got out of the shower. So um, that's what this smells like. So this one is a good one if you guys go to Victoria's Secret um, sometime soon. You need to check this one out and get it. Ugh. I'm sorry guys. It just hurts to talk right now because of my cough. I'm like tearing up because I'm like coughing and it's like those coughs where you think you're going to throw up. It's that kind of cough so I'm like <laughs> but I'm dedicated. I am so dedicated to film for you guys. Uh, we're halfway done so <laughs> I'm like we're halfway done. Um, not really. I still have like three more uh, pack, um, places, like things from places that I have to show you, but we're going to get through it. Okay. Mm. Okay, guys. So um, my most favorite purchase from Victoria's Secret was this perfume. This is the new one that they just launched. It's called the Bombshell Sun Drenched. It was not on sale, but I really wanted it. It smelled so good. Even my husband was like, just get it, girl. I don't care. I'll buy it. It smells delicious. And I was like, girl, say less. I got the 1.7 ounce. I'm kind of regretting it. I'm kind of like, damn, I should have got the bigger one because I love it that much because I already opened it, <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys the packaging and stuff. I was like, damn, I should have got the 3.4 ounce, but it's okay because once I run out of this, I know like I'm going to go back and repurchase it again and then I'll just get the bigger bottle. So here's what the package looks like. It is so cute. It's real rose gold packaging. I almost don't want to throw away the box. It's just so pretty. And... Here is what the bottle looks like. It is in a beautiful orange and rose gold bottle. You guys, I'm really like into orange this summer. Like I love wearing orange. Um, they have a bag on Victoria's Secret that I forgot that I need to order because it's on sale and it's an orange color. It looks like the Prada bags, but it's orange. And I just think it is so pretty and it's perfect like for a summer bag if you're going to this pool or whatever. I'm just like really into orange right now and I feel like it complements my red hair. Um, so yeah, just I've been really like, I've been really, I don't know, like you would never thought that orange would be somebody's favorite color, which that's kind of weird. But um, I like orange right now. Like I even bought an orangey pinky tumbler from Starbucks that I'll show you guys here in a second. But um, yeah, I've been liking orange, but let me spray the perfume, girl. Oh my god, this one is so good. I think I wonder if the notes are on the back of this one because there's just no way to describe it. It definitely smells like you're on the beach. You're like a hot girl on a beach. Um, so it has sunset coral, peony, 
guava blossom and warm sands so the warm sands is like what makes it like beachy and sexy and the peony makes it like fresh and the blossom just makes it sweet like oh, I just love that combination like literally I feel like this is me in a perfume and I feel like I would definitely choose this perfume out of all the perfumes that I have in my collection right now and that's hard to say but I really really do think that this is my most favorite perfume of all time right now even the cashier was like oh yeah I've been selling that like crazy like girls are coming in looking for perfumes and I just show them this one and we're selling them and even they agreed that it's like their most favorite scent that Victoria's Secrets come out with so I'm gonna spray it on me right now girl cuz I'm fixing to go out and I want to smell like a hot girl on the beach okay my husband came to save the day and he brought me a C4 I do not shut up about this on my Instagram this is literally all I drink when I'm craving something sweet this has no sugar in it it has tons of caffeine so it helps you to feel pumped throughout the day and it's still sweet it's like I, I really really do like it. it tastes like Starburst um, so that's just what I drink every day when I want something sweet but I only have one a day so it's kind of like my little my little reward and what I look forward to every day I look forward to drinking this so I'm like so he saved the day and brought me one because I'm like so like low energy right now so anyways what I was saying about this perfume is I think that this is probably my most favorite perfume of like the whole collection that I own and I was gonna get the lotion and body wash the, the lotion and body spray but I wasn't 100% sure at the time that I was like why should I buy all of this if I'm like not even sure if I'm gonna like it like it like it but now I'm like yeah I need to go back and get the body spray and lotion so that's on my to-do list but for sure I'm so happy that I bought the perfume it was so worth the regular price girl <laughs> she was definitely worth it um, I don't even know if these perfumes ever go on sale I don't know if they're only like on sale during Christmas but if they are I'm definitely gonna buy the big one around Christmas um, and then I also got the rollerball <clears throat> to keep in my purse. So this is what the rollerball looks like. And I'm not sure if it's a spray or if it's just a roller because sometimes they're sprays and sometimes they are just rollers. But we're going to open it and find out. And I'm trying to hurry because I'm scared that my battery is going to die. And I still have a lot to show you. So um, let me take this out really quick. So here's what... I gotta put this in my purse. Oh, it is a roller, but that's okay. I love it whenever they make them into sprays, but it's okay, but yeah. I got the roller as well, so that's what the roller ball looks like. Super cute girl. And that is everything that I got from Victoria's Secret. So I'm just gonna put everything over here. And what should we show you next? I'm gonna show you guys what I got from this small business on Instagram. It's called The Pretty Collection. I will tag their Instagram in my description bar. And of course, I got some phone accessories and wallet accessories. And um, I'm so glad I found this shop because they have the cutest stuff. So I got this cute LV inspired phone case. And when you open it up, it has the spot to put your phone case. I just wish the border was pink and not black. And then you can also put your cards here. So if you don't want to take your purse with you wherever you're going, you just want to take your cards and your phone, this is perfect. Um, and I love that it is pink all around. They also have a Gucci inspired one. That one was super cute too. I'm kind of like debating if I should get that one, but it's the same color um, style. And the next thing that I got were, are some card holders because you can never have enough card holders. It's so funny that I only own like two Chanel card holders, but one I don't even like because it looks more purple than pink, so I'm thinking of selling it. And um, when I saw this one, I was like, ooh, I hope it is pink as it looks in the picture, and it is, so here's what it looks like. It is so cute, so now when I carry my Chanel bags, I can carry a Chanel card holder instead of my LV ones, because you guys are like, why do you mix LV with Chanel? And I'm like, why not? Who cares? Um, so I got a... Chanel card holder I think it is so cute and then I got another LV card holder this one is in the pink print and these are super affordable you guys like you need to go check out that page like like this stuff was like super super affordable like it doesn't say the price here because I forgot but they're like literally like under like under $30 price range for like each item so I was really impressed and then I also got this keychain card holder 
So this one you can hook it to your keys and you can just slide your cards in here if you just need your card and your ID. So I really like that because there's days where I'm just like, I just need my card. I'm just going to go get some food. So um, that is perfect for those occasions. And that is everything I got from them. So like I said, I will put their Instagram um, handle on my description bar. So that's what I got from them. And then I'm going to show you guys another package I got in the mail. And then I'll show you guys what I got from Coach. So let me open up this box. So I got a cute package from SL Miss Glam. So if you do not know who Elsa, SL Miss Glam is, it's crazy that you don't know who SL Miss Glam is. Um, she has her own brush collection line, makeup brushes, and she comes out with the most beautiful brushes. Literally, I've been following her for like, oh my god, I don't even know how many years now. Literally, ever since I was living at my other place in my first beauty room. And it was always a dream of mine to like wait till her Christmas sales came along and I would like, you know, get a, I would get a, um, a brush book for Christmas because that was the only time that I could afford her brushes. And... You know, it, if you would have told me that I would have been on her PR list, I would have never, like, believed you back then because I just felt like I'm not, like, I guess I wasn't good enough. So now, looking back, I'm like, wow, I can't believe, like, I, like I'm on her PR list now. And me and her are very good friends. She's a super sweet person. She has two adorable kids. I can't open this box. I'm trying my best. She has two gorgeous babies and her house is goals. And I'm just I'm just glad that you know she's so successful and she's happy and she lives in Canada, which is even a plus. <laughs> like nobody wants to live here. Um, but yeah, I she came out with a new brush collection. She usually does every um right. every season so let me open let me open this up you guys i'm sorry here is what it looks like on the inside there goes the card oh no it's still right here <laughs> so i do have a discount code with um with sl miss glam it is just charla 20 um the discount code will be linked in the description in case you forget what the code is and i will link her website for the brushes but she did come out with the black glam collection and i think these are just so cute usually she does like pink pastel girly stuff but i love that she came out with like black glitter glittery ones because not everybody you know likes pink i mean i love pink who doesn't love pink but you know for girls too who are just more of like a black and red type of person like my sister-in-law um she did come out with you know black brushes kind of it's good to like cater to um, other girls who like who aren't as girly as us <laughs> which I don't know who but it's still it's still a beautiful collection and I for sure will be using it because I love black too I love wearing black girl um, it makes me look slimmer so um, I thought they were so pretty too because they're glittery so I mean how are you not going to use these makeup brushes so um, so here is what the box looks like I'm already trying to open it without showing you guys Here's what the box looks like. I think her packaging is always just so spot on. And here's how it looks. I always keep her boxes, you guys. There's a box that she made similar to this and it has like a little bow tie and it's white and pink and it opens up. I had to save that box because it's just so cute not to keep it. Um, but I just love that she comes out with like the cutest boxes every single time. So here is how it looks on the inside. And I'm going to take these brushes out. Here is how the brushes look. So, so, so gorgeous. And I love that the glitter is not rough. It's actually like just, um, how do you say it? Like it's just, like it shows that there's glitter, but it's not like to where the glitter is like going to come off and fall and be like a, a kind of rough. It's just smooth and it still has the glitter looking effect. It is just so pretty and I love how she designed everything so she did come these are a lot of brushes usually she comes out with you know like a minimal face kit um but this time she came out with like a big face collection a big brush collection which i am i'm excited to try these so this one seems good for like foundation or contour um and usually sometimes it'll say on the side yeah it'll say on the sides what they're for so this one is for foundation i knew it um, and these are so soft. I like these a lot. And she also has um, 
there's also a lot of eyeshadow brushes a highlight brush um, we've got a face expert face brush for powder and then we've got a precise face brush Ooh, this one I can use for concealer I love getting new concealer brushes and then we've got a tapered powder brush you know to sweep off your under eye powder and then we've got a fan powder brush I would probably use this for um, bronzing this is like the, I love the way it's shaped this would be perfect for bronzer Ooh, I want to try that for bronzer and then we've got a flat brush so if you want to set anything on your face this is really good um, a blush brush you she knew that we got to do a blush brush um, this is an angled contour brush as well but I feel like I would use this for blush um, and then we've got a flat concealer brush this is nice because you can lay down your foundation or your concealer um, I really really like that I don't think she's um, come out with one like that and then we just got another um, eyeshadow brush oh here's the blush brush so the other one was for bronzer and this one is for blush so yeah that's for blush but the, wow this is such a big collection I'm excited to try them out and I actually been needing some new brushes because mine are getting kind of crusty so thank you so much Stephanie for sending me these brushes I think they are gorgeous and I'm definitely gonna use them they're beautiful like just look at that you guys these are stunning so if you guys want to um, check out her website whatever you buy you can use my discount code charlotte20 for a little discount so thank you so much stephanie for sending me these brushes i love them so much okay and last and final package is coach Are you guys excited to see what i got from coach so here is the shopping bag that i got from coach so you, um i don't know if you guys saw on my instagram but me and my bestie did get matching bags um and you guys were like hurry up and show us what you got so i was like mm, i gotta wait till i show you guys in a video so that is what i'm going to show you we guys whenever we came home we realized that we got the wrong style bag <laughs> and my husband is gonna be mad so i'm trying to stay quiet but we got the wrong style bag um and i kind of knew because i was like this isn't that like i don't remember this being the shape of the bag that we were trying to get but we were just like in a hurry and they only had two so we're like okay let's get them and then when i looked on the site when we got home i was like girl we got the wrong style bag so um i, I don't have a coach outlet near me so <laughs> i don't even like know if i can return this um i don't think i'm going back out of town for like another month so i don't know if i'll be able to return it by then but i'm gonna show you guys the bag anyways did i order the right bag yes i did and it'll be here tuesday so i will probably do another bag unboxing for you guys but i did order the right style bag and it gets here tuesday but this is the bag that we both got and we realized oops we got the wrong one so here is the bag and I have not used it yet because like I said I am either going to try and return it if I can make it by the 30 day mark or if one of you guys are interested um, just you can message me and I will give it to you for the same price I got it for but this is such a beautiful bag I love the white and strawberry collection so this is the, I think this is the Casey, yeah this is a Casey satchel and the other one that I was trying to get, <clears throat> I forgot the exact name of it but it looks, I'll put a picture here, it looks more like a mini tote bag. Um, so whenever I realized we got the wrong bags, I was like oh my god, what are we gonna do, we don't live near a coach outlet. So um, this is what the bag looks like, she's still beautiful, she's so gorgeous, don't get me wrong, but when you see the picture of the bag that we wanted, you would have been like, yeah, I would have gone for that style more. Um, but it's still beautiful, like I said, this is super cute everyday bag, look at the strawberries on this bag, it is so cute, and the strawberries have glitter on them, so we just had to get this bag because it's just cute for summer, and it does turn into a crossbody, it's got the strap here. And here's what it looks like on the inside and yeah I have not used it because like I said I had realized when we got home and it was already too late I was like oh crap we got the wrong bag so pretty and there's also a zipper in the back where you can put your keys or your phone for easy quick access and yeah this is like more of like a medium size bag but it's just so cute and like I said if any of you guys are interested 
make sure you DM me on my Instagram if any of you guys want it. Like I said, I'm just selling it for what I bought it for. I have not touched it. Um, I will add some goodies too if one of you guys wants to buy it from me. Um, but yeah, it is just such a beautiful bag and I'm kind of sad that I got the wrong one. <laughs> but it is so pretty. I just love the style. I love the strawberries. It is just cute. Tell me it is not cute, but I already ordered the right bag, so I don't want two of the same style, <laughs> two of the same color anyways. But yeah, that was everything for this haul, you guys. Let me know if y'all missed my shopping hauls. It has been a while since I have not been shopping lately, but yeah, when we went to Dallas, we went shopping. So um, let me know what you guys want me to film next. I will most likely do another bag unboxing. Um, and then an update of how my house is coming along, but let me know other than that what you guys want me to film So until next time, I'll see you guys later. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye